how did you solidify the idea and then you started to take steps towards making it real? No path is the same, but our base is grounded in that we spent hours upon hours upon hours researching and talking to people and going and presenting this idea to the public at that time so we could refine that pitch, we could refine the product that we were building and we could really re refine how we were gonna take that next step forward. Uh, so the, the steps that we took were actually doing that research, calling those companies that have been working on it for 30 years, talking to their employees, talking to their founders and understanding why they built it the way they built it. Was your public at that point in time, your Chicago community or it was already a larger community that involved people in different cities? Uh, so we started actually talking to people in, in Morocco about it, which is where we had the idea for the company. The reception of that in a place like Morocco is going to be very different from the United States. I actually moved over to London and took some courses over at Oxford and used the London entrepreneurship circles to further see how people would react to this technology. And I was working at uh, Google's Entrepreneur Center over there and going to pitch events, taking acting classes, and just trying to immerse myself in that culture so that I could continue to see how people were responding to the idea of putting facial recognition on a doorbell or putting it on an access control system and how they felt about that. And London being one of the most watched cities in the world, truthfully, you know, we, we received a lot of pushback on it. I'd like to think of it as you know, we were practicing and then coming back to the U.S. is really when we went to market with the idea. Uh, we launched the website, got some media. We actually ended up um, being named one of the top 10 companies of CES. And that is what really kicked off product development. There was a period of uh, you know, investigation, trial and errors. There were also pushbacks. What made you and your partner go ahead? We saw this, this vision for the future and it was the only thing that we saw. In your mind, you know that this is happening. You're the most informed in that situation and you start to see little breakpoints in the company's life cycle. So little places here and there where facial recognition is talked about more than fingerprint scanning. You know, when Apple announced that they were putting facial recognition on the iPhone X, it did a lot of good for our business because it verifies what we've been saying for four years. And so, you know, it just took some adoption for us to really get the momentum we needed. We got a lot of people telling us it wasn't going to work. And, and I think it was really persistence and dedication to, to wanting to change there's no, there's no template for it. There's no right or wrong. It's, it's really about what people are willing to pay for the technology that, that you provided or the market has come into play with how we price our products and we price them, you know, for when we are pricing a doorbell, uh, there's a lot that goes into that, like bomb and hardware costs, uh, service costs. And now it's, it's definitely more on and deploying those solutions for specific clients.